How you been? I'm sorry. Hi! I love you! Now, since you and I go way back. Yes, we, we just, sure do. We decided that we was going to sit here, just you and I, and talk about everything going on with you. Oh. And we're going to start from way back when and bring it all the way to the front. Y'all with me? Now, if you can, in one word, describe, I mean, there's so many emotions that's going on with you right now. Can you describe how you're feeling at this moment right now with everything going on in your life? Well, I'm feeling blessed. That's number one. More blessed because, more so because of all of those great guys right there. <laughs> that, it's because of them that I've been able to go through this. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Serious, man. They've been so supportive of me. No Very. No doubt. Now, since this is our first time on the couch, you've been here before, <laughs> but this first time we spent time together, and this is probably your last 106 in Park for at least a year. Yeah, probably. It's okay. It's only a year. She's going to be right back. We're going yeah. we're gonna to do something called firsts and lasts, okay? I'm going to ask you some questions about your firsts and your lasts. Uh, describe the first rhyme you ever wrote in your life. Ooh, <laughs> it needed a lot of work, a lot of cleaning. But, I mean, as far as the neighborhood, they thought it was fly. They thought it was hot. Do you remember it? I don't, I don't remember most of it, but I did have some kind of Jamaican chant in it then. I said some crazy, something crazy, like, <laughs> I'm so hot, I'm hotter than the sun. Now, where the man? <laughs> I, <ooh, that's> the <laughs> I was doing a bogle, and Big was like, ooh. <laughs> All right. What was the last song you wrote for your new album, which is out uh, September 27th? The last <laughs> That's my baby. Um, the last song I wrote for my new album, um, ooh, it's, uh, it's a song called Slippin'. Right. Tell yeah. me about it a little bit. Um, it, it was produced by Danan from D12, the group D12. He's, yeah, yeah. He, he's a very creative uh, artist. He's, he's a great musician. He makes great um, tracks. And um, he... He also wrote the hook, so that was the last song I wrote to, and it was the hardest song because I talk a lot about what I went through during the trial and a lot of um, unloyal people and a lot of things I've gone through. So, you know, it was hard. We're going to talk about that. We're going to get uh -huh. to that. Tell me about the first time you met Big. Well, uh, <laughs> um, well, I, I think everyone kind of knows the story. I was coming home from work. I used to work at Bloomingdale's. You know, I had to stay fly. <laughs> 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 my mother and my father, you better get you a job because we can't do it anymore. Now you want all kinds of crazy stuff. So I had, I was coming from Bloomingdale's and um, Biggie was sitting on a garbage can because he loved to play dice. <laughs> and um, I was coming from work and my girlfriend at the time, I used to call her answer machine and leave like raps on her answer machine. And she used to tell Big, I'm telling you, she is nice. And he was like, yeah, right. She too pretty to rap or whatever. She's so little. <laughs> Thought I, I was coming from work, and he said, yeah, Kim, I heard you knew how to rap because I had to pass that way when I got off the train. Right. And I was like, he's, I was like, yeah, but, you know, I ain't really, you know, doing it for nobody like that. I'm just, you know. He was like, see, so I told you she can't rap. <laughs> I was like, what? He was good right. at manipulating you to get you to do what he wanted you to do. So I was like, what? I do know how to rap. And I bust the wig to my... <laughs> 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 he was like, ooh, I'm messing with you. And ever since then, me and him were rolling together. Okay, so that was the first. Now, do you remember the last conversation you had with Big before he passed? Mm, it was a tough one. I mean, um, we, had, we were going through some things, and it was business-related. It really wasn't personal. And, um, you know, I, I wanted to do something, and he didn't want me to do it. And we were going through some things, and that weekend, I mean, we were going through this for a long time, right. and it was major. And that weekend, I don't know, he must have had a, a turn of events or a change of heart, and he was like, you know what, Ma? I decided whatever it is you want to do, I'm going to support you because I love you. He actually told me I'm a beautiful person inside and out. He told me that, and he, and he never was, like, he wouldn't really say much things like that to me. He, he showed it, but, you know, that was the one time he really expressed from the heart how he felt about me okay. all the way around. And he was like, I want you. Ah. Uh, we got.